Welcome to a lesson on verifying ordered pairs satisfy a given linear equation. In example one, we're asked to verify that the ordered pairs below satisfy the equation y equals two x plus three. Y equals two x plus three is what's called a linear equation in two variables. It's actually a linear equation in what's called slope-intercept form, or the form y equals mx plus b. Notice in our case, m equals two and b equals three. It's called a linear equation because if we were to graph two or more ordered pairs that satisfy this equation, it would form a straight line where all the points on that line have ordered pairs that satisfy the linear equation. When we have a linear equation written in terms of x and y, x is the input variable and y is the output variable. So to verify these ordered pairs satisfy the linear equation, because the first value is the input and the second value is the output, we'll substitute the first value for x and then the second value for y to verify the left side of the equation equals the right side. If it does, the ordered pair is a solution. If it doesn't, it's not. So for here, we'll substitute negative one for y and negative two for x. That would give us negative one equals two times negative two plus three. Again, we substituted negative two for x and we substituted negative one for y. And now we simplify. So on the right side we have two times negative two, that's negative four, and then plus three. And notice that negative four plus three is negative one. This is true, which verifies this ordered pair does satisfy our linear equation. The next ordered pair is zero comma three. So we'll substitute zero for x and three for y. So we'd have three equals two times zero plus three. Simplifying, we have three equals zero plus three. So we have three equals three, which is true, which verifies this ordered pair satisfies our linear equation. And finally, we have the ordered pair one comma five. So we substitute one for x and five for y. That would give us five equals two times one plus three. Five equals, well two times one of course is two. And two plus three equals five. This is true, which again verifies the ordered pair satisfies a linear equation. Now let's graph these three ordered pairs on the coordinate plane and verify they do form a straight line. So we'll first plot the ordered pair negative two comma negative one, so we'd go left two and down one to here. This is the ordered pair negative two comma negative one. Next we have the ordered pair zero comma three, which would be on the vertical axis here. And then finally we have one comma five, so we'd go right one up five to here. This is the point with the ordered pair one comma five. And notice how, and notice how we can form a straight line through these three points here which is the reason why this is called a linear equation. Every single point on this line has an ordered pair that would satisfy the linear equation. Example two, we have the same question, but now our equation is three x plus two y equals six. This is also a linear equation in two variables, but this is in what's called standard form, or the form ax plus by equals c. Notice here, a equals three, b equals two, and c equals six. But just like last time, the input variable is x and the output variable is y. So for the ordered pair negative two comma six, we'll substitute negative two for x and positive six for y to verify this ordered pair is a solution. So we'd have three times negative two plus two times six equals six. Simplifying, we multiply first, so we have negative six plus 12 equals six. Negative six plus 12 is six. Six equals six is true, which verifies this ordered pair satisfies the linear equation. Next we have the ordered pair zero comma three. So we substitute zero for x and three for y. So we'd have three times zero plus two times three equals six. Well three times zero is zero. Two times three is six. Zero plus six is six. This is true verifying the ordered pair satisfies our linear equation. Notice how this would be a point on the vertical axis or the vertical intercept. And then here we have the ordered pair two comma zero. 
So we substitute zero for y and two for x. So we'd have three times two plus two times zero equals six. On the left we have three times two is six plus two times zero is zero. Six plus zero of course is six. Six equals six is true. Once again verifying, the ordered pair satisfies our linear equation. Let's graph these three ordered pairs on the coordinate plane and verify they form a straight line. So first we have the ordered pair negative two comma six, so left two up six here. Next we have the ordered pair zero comma three, this point here on the vertical axis. Again, this is the vertical intercept. Then we have the point two comma zero, which would be on the horizontal axis here. This is the horizontal intercept. Once again, notice how these three points form a straight line which should always be the case if we have ordered pairs that satisfy a linear equation. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.